Hi, do I just do I just start talking? Okay. Um, hi, my name is Lotan, and a point that I think people should hear that you can believe in Jesus Christ without being saved. I know, I know, you can quote scripture at me all you want, and I can quote it right back. Just give me some grace and hear me out for a minute, because I believed in Jesus when I was a kid, and I know I wasn't saved. I didn't know what being saved meant. Yeah, I thought you had to believe in Jesus to go to heaven, but I didn't recognize that I was a sinner that needed saving, that I deserved to go to hell. And by college, I was as far from a Christian as I could get. But that's just my testimony. Let's look at another example. Uh, one that applies to millions of people. The Catholics. See, the Catholics believe in Jesus. And they believe he died on the cross. And that he was buried and resurrected. And yet, I don't think most of them are saved. Why? Well, let's tie this together with a verse of scripture that stood out to me recently. Written by the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians concerning Christ. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. In those verses, Paul warns the Christians about preachers, even in his day and age, right after Christ died, who were preaching another Jesus, a different Jesus. They still called him Jesus, but it wasn't the Jesus that Paul was preaching. So how does that tie in here and to the Catholics? Yeah, the Catholics believe in Jesus, that he was the Son of God who died on the cross, was buried, and was resurrected, but they don't believe his work was finished on the cross. They don't believe his blood saved them from their sin. They think they have to take communion, say Our Fathers and Hail Marys, confess to priests, and even pray to Mary to make intercession to Jesus on their behalf. That way they can make it into heaven on their works. None of that is biblical. In short, they do believe in a Jesus, and that Jesus is very similar to ours, but he isn't ours. Likewise, when I was a kid, I believed in a man named Jesus that was the Son of God, who died, was buried, and resurrected, but I didn't believe he died for my sin. I thought you just had to believe in him to go to heaven. I never asked him to get saved because I never thought I was a sinner worthy of hell. That's not the Jesus of the Bible. That's another Jesus. The reason I don't think most Christians today are saved is because, well, they believe in another Jesus. One that fits their beliefs, their understandings, and their feelings, and not the Jesus of the Bible. And I don't say any of this to confuse anyone. Getting saved isn't hard or difficult. In fact, the reason I think a lot of Christians today aren't saved is because they make it more difficult than it should be. All you need to know or understand to get saved is that, one, you're a sinner and are heading to hell. And that too, Christ died for you, and your debt is paid if you're willing to accept it. There's no work that we can do to get saved on our own. Take a look at that verse again. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. So that's the other Jesus, the other gospel that Paul is warning about. Something that takes away from the simplicity that is in Christ. From the gospel that he died for our sins on the cross. And that's it. And so what are you believing on? You're believing on the sacrifice he made on the cross. And that's all. You're not believing on your works. You're not believing on going to church or taking the sacraments or doing any of that other Catholic stuff. You're just believing on the finished work that Jesus did on the cross and that that will get you to heaven. That's it. Just let God know that you accept his gift. And there's no particular set of words that will magically get you saved. But if you're watching this and you want to get saved and you need help finding some words, Say something like this, but in your own words, and don't just say it out loud. Say it to God. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner and deserve to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. So I place my faith now in you and you alone. I trust in the blood of Jesus Christ, who lived a perfect life and died in my place to save me from my sin and nothing else. I pray this in Jesus' name. 
Amen.